What pulls me into this race is this basic notion of opportunity. What kind of an America we are. For me, it made me feel much more connected to my union. So I really kind of see that the political process is for everybody in the union and everybody needs to be connected to it. Thank you, AFT, for fighting for our educators, our kids, and our future. My second grade teacher, Mrs. Lee, changed my whole world when she told me I could be a teacher. And I got to live my dream. I became a public school teacher. So here's my promise. When I'm president, the Secretary of Education will also be a former public school teacher. Our government will be on the side of the teachers and the students. That's where we belong. It's within our power. What are you going to do about protecting teachers in the classroom, about protecting us as union members? We have a vested interest in speaking for the students. I mean, this is what we do. This is who we are. Not only increase, but triple from $15 billion a year to $45 billion a year, Title I. Hi, this is Joe Biden. I'm Joe Biden's husband. You know, Jill has a saying that any country that out-educates us is going to out-compete us. And I was happy to be at the AFT Forum in Houston, where I was able to outline my plan as to how we deal with this issue of better education and better opportunities for teachers. We have to provide educators the support and respect they need and deserve. It matters. We have to invest in all our children from birth, so that regardless of their zip code, their parents' income, or disability that they may have, are prepared to succeed in tomorrow's economy. I know from watching Jill all these years that for educators, their profession isn't what they do, it's who they are. They answer a call to service. They help children learn and grow into successful adults. Often the role extends far beyond the classroom, whether they are helping students compete for college or whether job applications or providing personal encouragement or actually dealing with serious personal problems. So many young people, knowing they have a teacher believing in them, fighting for them, it can make a gigantic difference. You're changing people's lives. And I want to thank you. Thank you, thank you. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. You, even a younger teacher. I feel very proud to be in a union that gets presidential candidates to show up and back us up and speak with us. It makes me feel like we've got an important job. Hello, everybody. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all of the teachers in the room and teachers who are not in the room for having the incredible courage uh, to protest, to march on state capitals, to demand that in the year 2019, in the richest country in the history of the world, all of our kids have a decent and quality public education. Thank you all very much for doing that. And I want to be very clear with you uh, on something else, and that is every teacher in this country and every student in America deserves a strong public school system that is free of hunger, free of gun violence, free of discrimination or threats of privatization. Every teacher in America deserves to make at least $60,000 a year. And I say that because teachers do some of the most important work in this country. You are helping to educate the future of America. Teachers deserve to be treated with respect and to earn the salary commensurate with that respect. And every teacher in America, furthermore, deserves to be able to join a union and engage in collective bargaining. And with your help in my administration, we will fight together and we will succeed to achieve all of those goals. Thank you again for everything that you do and I look forward uh, to seeing uh, each and every one of you on the campaign trail. Thank you. When I speak of teachers, I'm thinking of paraprofessionals. I'm thinking of all of those who are part of our educational ecosystem. Most people just say teachers and think it's the people in the classroom. So I was very excited about that. And for them to be able to bring someone here who can listen to our concerns and try to address our issues, that makes me feel really good to see that my union is really working for me. Hi AFT, it is Kamala, and what I want teachers to know about me is that my first grade teacher attended my law school graduation. I love teachers, 
and I believe it is time we give you a raise. And so that's exactly what I will do as president. My plan is to make the largest federal investment in closing the teacher pay gap, which on average is $13,000. $500 a year. So I want to give you a $13,500 a year raise. And you can read more about it at KamalaHarris.com slash teachers. You have my promise that I will be a president who supports public education and stands with teachers.